ha 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 ha. Fay, my dark mage. How fare you this fine eve? I am ye, ye old fine. Welcome, Fay. Always room for more magic. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Okay, out of character. I'm really glad you're here. I made some last minute changes to the story. I think it's gonna help get Trish on track for the concert. Wait, so you do see that she's being kind of weird. I mean, Trish isn't really doing anything on purpose. She's just got a lot of stuff going on. Chef Jeff is served with hors d'oeuvres. Please do not get on the table again, Sage. Oh, I love these ones with the creamy stuff. Oh, we got here just in time. Fresh snacks. Look, I'm not going to spoil the story, but just we're all in this together. You know, that's what the game's all about. So maybe it'll make the whole band thing feel more... You know? Yeah. I hope so. Previously on Legends and Lore, our party tracked Kef's cultists, hell-bent on ushering in a cataclysm of apocalyptic proportions to a confrontation that left the Dark Mage Fae unconscious. Kef has escaped, intent on summoning Braxis, an ancient god of death and destruction to this world. But Fae is stirring and their amnesia is subsiding. The Elder Celeste leans in close to Fay on the deck of the Vagrant. I didn't know I had to prepare anything. That's okay, perfectly fine. The Lore Maestro's Guide says it's totally fine to not have a huge backstory already. Maybe we could get some suggestions from the table. Oh, oh, you're the long lost heiress to a distant kingdom, banished as a child after an unjust coup. <gasps> Maybe you were an astute student until your aspirations turned unorthodox and you began studying the Scythe. Or you were a traveling musician who signed away your soul for incredible talent with the guitar. Maybe that's how you lost your memories or something. Yeah, 
Oh, darn. It's okay. Maybe we'll meet a hot librarian. The magical forge pumps hot as the airship begins soaring. As you break above the clouds, you're struck by the fact that everything is quiet. He always says that. That. And gaping maw. Okay, okay. You notice on the horizon, a dot. What do you want to do? Aha! Uh, uh, Very good. Do you wish to approach head on, or would you like to try and be sneaky about it? As the dot becomes larger and larger, the edges resolve into a shell. It's a huge, floating nautilus. As you debate, you feel a massive vibration emanate from the Nautilus. A voice speaks in your mind. Ah, uh, shoot. What did we name our group again? We just changed it. Well, our old name was the Forlorn Corn Mourners. Lest old Corny from our first session be forgotten. It was a whole thing. Yeah, but we got bored of that. Now it's Havoc Union. That one was my idea. I love that idea. Yeah, okay, not something I expected to hear tonight. The Nautilus winks at you. The Nautilus winks twice. He's not flirting with you. The Nautilus opens its gaping maw and consumes Ollie with one bite. And the pain begins. You feel yourself being chewed up as you take 14 bludgeoning damage. The Nautilus spits you out. <laughs> Gaping large mouth of the Nautilus opens and you walk inside. Okay. 
Anyway, shelves of books line a wavy tongue-like floor. Immediately in front of you is a beautiful wooden counter, and a large gold leaf book is perched on top of it. Hey guys, I'm gonna stuff the Necronom Nomicon into my bag. Wait, no, didn't you hear what Dewey said? Go ahead and roll your dice. Uh, that's a one. Uh, now look what you did. He's grinning. <laughs> Dewey stops suddenly. Dewey grows and begins shredding his dust cover. Suddenly, it bellows. All right, you're entering combat. <laughs> Looks like that's the highest roll. You'll go first. However, Desi got a natural 20, and actually gets an attack in before you. Desi swipes at Faye for... 18 damage. Oof. And he screams something about eating you for stealing books. You hit Desi, but he shakes off the strike easily, taking half damage. Oh, you try. But he swoops out of the way and trips you, sending you sprawling and taking an attack of opportunity on you for 10 damage. Amazing. Yeah, it works really well. Congratulations, you solved my library puzzle. Desi shrinks down, back into Dewey. You all spend some time leafing through ancient tomes with Dewey. According to what you dig up, you can either travel to the temple in the sands and search for an ancient artifact said to possess the power of the gods, or you can head to the swamp for the Blightbane Axe, the fabled god killer. Also, Jeff, you notice there is an ancient recipe scribbled in the margin for chocolate chip cookies. As you approach the exit, you notice 
that it's completely closed off. Suddenly, Naughty trembles, falling into a deep slumber. There is a snore, and then a crescendo of air being expelled, and you're launched out, landing unceremoniously on the vagrant. You all land on the deck, but don't even have a moment to celebrate. Celeste and Sid are bound by some kind of spell, and behind them stands Kef. That hits. Okay. Faye, you're up next. Anea, a swirling mist starts to surround you, and you feel disoriented. Roll to save. You hear Kef's voice filling your head, and turn on Faye, attacking them. Any response, Faye? hit with a blast of psychic pain, and you fall to your knees. Uh, yeah. No, that doesn't hit. Linnea. Faye, it's back to you. Kef is looking pretty banged up, but so do you. Faye, you land the final blow. How do you want to finish this? Uh, huh, I, I don't know what that means. Ah, you get to describe the ending! Wait, 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 wait! Can I try to spare him? Hmm. You approach him and offer him his life. He looks at you, fire surging behind his eyes. He says nothing, and then jumps backward into open air. Does he do a backflip? Yes, he does a backflip. Two of them. It's pretty sweet. Sick. 
Sure. And that's where we'll end our session tonight. So, that was LNL. What do you think, Fang? Um, I loved it. Isn't he the best? Like, dude, I cannot handle that Celeste voice. It's my favorite. Like, can that be my ringtone? Pick up the phone, Jeff. I can feel it. Well, time to feed the wormy. That was epic. Super epic. Do you think it worked? Hard to say. Right. Guess we'll see. Well. Thanks again. That was really cool. And now I know what you're thinking about between all of your drum solos. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. <laughs>